Science describes proteins that help mitochondria communicate. Mitofusin II is a protein that is needed for the work of mitochondria in cells. An international team, with the participation of a poll, has now described in science, newly identified variants of this protein that mediate between the mitochondrion and other elements of the cell. These studies include shed light on some liver disorders. The MFN2 protein, which is found in the outer membrane of the mitochondrion, plays an important role in cells. Scientists discovered new variants, isoforms, and studied their role in cellular processes. The discovered isoforms significantly increase the number of contacts between mitochondria. An important aspect of the publication is the finding that newly identified isoforms, alternative variants, of the long-known MFN2 protein, Mitofusin 2 are responsible for maintaining physical contact between the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, mitochondria can be described as cellular power plants, responsible primarily for the production of energy in the form of ATP. The endoplasmic reticulum is a system of channels separated from the cytoplasm by membranes. She is responsible, among others, for, for the production and transport of fats and proteins. The contact between the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum allows for the regulation of important mitochondrial processes. From calcium and lipid transport to autophagy and mitochondrial division. Despite this, it has not yet been known exactly what molecular structures physically connect the two organelles. As part of the project, a group of scientists from Padua and Barcelona determined that while the full-size MFN2 protein is anchored on the surface of the mitochondria, shorter variants of this protein, which have not been described so far, anchor in the endoplasmic reticulum while significantly increasing the number of contacts between these organelles. The study also identified the role that the described proteins may play in the pathophysiology of the liver. And so, among others in non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. One of the MFN2 variants may correct the altered transfer of phospholipids from the ER to the mitochondria and thus reduce the resulting disadvantages. It was necessary to propose and build a molecular model of such a connection based on available experimental data, as well as structures generated by the latest neural networks. AlphaFold 2. The finished model, consisting of over a million atoms, was then simulated on a supercomputer in order to confirm the stability of the structure prepared in this way. structures in the middle of the desert. Scientists have discovered what they were made for. The world of science is still struggling to explain the purpose of many structures that were erected thousands of years ago. One of the most mysterious are structures called kites visible only from a great height. 
They are primarily found in the Saudi Arabian desert. And scientists have some idea what they might have been used for in the past. Across the Arabian Peninsula, scientists have identified thousands of huge stone structures. V-shaped patterns were first noticed by British Air Force pilots in the 1920s. Since then, experts have been debating what purpose they were built for. Recent satellite images and drone surveys in Saudi Arabia seem to confirm earlier assumptions. Archaeologists working on these ancient structures, sometimes called desert kites, believe they were most likely used as traps for mass hunting. These mysterious stone structures can be found in many countries on the Arabian Peninsula, but not only. They are also found in Syria, Iraq, Armenia and even Kazakhstan. In some of these areas, ancient civilizations existed even 8,000 years ago. The aforementioned structures were first noticed by British pilots in the 1920s. And so far we do not know exactly what they were intended for. Most of them have a shape similar to the letter V, which somewhat resembles kites, hence their name. But some of them are more complex. Typically, Different types of such structures were found in a given area. It is interesting to note that the tip of all kites is always directed towards cliffs, pits or pens. This may therefore indicate that they were used to herd and catch animals. And their abundance in turn leads to the conclusion that this method must have been efficient. Therefore, they served as a kind of giant snares for mass hunting. But for what species of animals? This includes gazelles, ibex, wild equids and even ostriches. An important argument proving that the hunting hypothesis may be true is that in the places where the kites were discovered, there were periodically meadows. This means that during seasonal migrations animals had to move en masse through these areas. Other such traps for animals have been incorporated into really long structures that can stretch for many kilometers. They are called mustatals and are another unsolved mystery for scientists. Because they are not sure what exactly they were supposed to be used for. There are suspicions that they had some ritual or cultural significance. However, in the context of animals, it can be assumed that they were sacrificed in these places. Perhaps, therefore, stone kites served as homesteads in the mustatals. Calls from scientists to conduct more thorough research in these areas should be taken seriously.
There are too many issues here that need to be explored and clarified in more detail. For example, only in the year 2022, which is ending, scientists discovered in Saudi Arabia a network of equivalents of former highways stretching for about 530 kilometers in their vicinity, not only, for example, burial chambers, but also other desert kites were found.